people, what's going on, hope you're all doing amazingly well. I thought I'd do this video purely as a reflection, a reflection for myself, a reflection for everybody else. We've all had a really trying year. <laughs> to sum it up, it's been a lot for all of us and I wanted to do this video because I wanted to look back and see more of the happy emotions that I did experience, the things that, yes, there were times when things were really difficult and a lot to deal with, but then at the same time, it was a year to establish all the positive things that did happen for me, all the positive outcomes that did happen just because I worked hard, just because they were just happy times. They were things that I had planned, things that I did, things that really enabled me to feel good about myself, good about life, really appreciate things. And if this year has taught me anything is that is appreciate appreciating and valuing what we do have in our lives at the moment is so so important. We've got pictures, we've got explanations for these pictures going on so sit back, relax, grab yourself a cuppa and let's just get into it. I've basically summed it up with pictures, they'll be going on throughout this video as I explain them to you and I'll just explain all about it really, sort of the emotions that I felt, what I gained from it and why it was a significant part for me to have gone through this year. This first picture is kind of bittersweet. This was taken back in January. At the beginning of January I was going through a lot. It all built up to the point where I felt so so low. I was at one of my lowest places and it was really hard because I was trying to deal with all these things and I felt like I couldn't do it. It was just a lot to try and overcome and this picture just sums up the first day that I felt really happy after all those events were going on. I felt amazing, I felt incredible, I felt on top of the world and I didn't think I would be feeling that for a, a long time but luckily it was only a couple of weeks after January, it was only about two or three weeks when all these events were going on. It just gave me a sort of light at the end of the tunnel. All those things that did happen, I did overcome it, they stayed with me throughout the rest of the year but they were things that I really did overcome that I didn't think I would. I did a video on that actually at the beginning of this year so if you do want to delve into it a bit more then I'll put the link down below. There was all that going on and this was the first time since all those events happened that I just felt amazing, that I felt myself, I felt happy, I felt content. So this next picture, <laughs> quite random, it's when I dyed my hair with a biolage hairstyle. I don't normally change my hair, I think I've only ever had it dyed once and it was pretty much the same colour as my roots at the moment. You could only tell because of the ends of my hair were a bit lighter, so I had it dyed once, I had caramel highlights put in it about a year or so after and that was pretty much it. And then because I was going through all this stuff at the time I just thought do you know what should we just go for a new change shall we just try something and see if it ends up looking really good and I absolutely loved it I look back on that I'm thinking like that was a change for me that was something that I wanted to do for myself and it felt so good to be doing that it felt amazing anybody will tell you that dyes their hair regularly or has had it done when you go through stuff and you change a look that's just for yourself when you do something that's just purely for yourself and makes you feel better on the outside it makes you feel good on the inside I still love it I still think it's something that I don't regret and became more of a milestone for me, became more of something that I did enjoy and yeah, I absolutely love. This next one was actually one of the last nights out in this country in the UK that I went on and it was with my gorgeous, gorgeous best friends that I absolutely love to death. We went out on a night out, that felt really good. I love going on nights out, I love partying, but more to the point of dancing rather than drinking. Like there's drinks involved, but you know, I go out just for the dancing element of it. I feel in my comfort zone. I feel amazing when I'm out and like when you're all like glammed up and you feel good about yourself it just adds to the night and just makes it a really amazing time. It was a short-lived night we didn't stay out for too long it was just a night where I just felt really good about myself went out dancing it was with two people that I really loved and cared about and it was obviously the last night in this country before lockdown hit and I look back on that and think yep yeah, that was a really good night. This one is one of my favourites from this year this was when I went to Tenerife for my friend's hen do there was um, about seven or eight of us girls we flew to Tenerife and this was actually the weekend before we all went into lockdown. I'm so appreciative and lucky that we managed to do that because originally we were meant to go the weekend after which was when lockdown came so luckily it was changed for to the weekend before it was for an occasion where we were celebrating something for my friend we all just had a laugh together this one i felt really good about myself everything about me was just all shining through i was so happy i was in my elements everything about that like i just love i was at a really good health peak as well with like my health 
health and fitness like I was training quite consistently and just felt really good and then we just move on to the nights out with my friends I think it's a bit different when you go abroad and party because you don't know anybody you can just sort of be your own person without feeling like you don't have to act a certain way in case you bump into people or anything like that it felt like freedom I carried some stuff with me internally when I went on that holiday and it was still stuck in my mind whilst I was there but then at the same time it was nice to be away from it it was nice to not have to deal with any of that stuff to just continue as me have fun with some good people and to just forget about things for a while and to just have an amazing time and it was really really amazing like I couldn't believe how incredible it is to just be away and just not have anybody about kind of thing just do your own thing and be happy and have fun and I look back at these photos now and it just brings up really happy memories. March started on a good note. This was the last night the outfit that I was wearing and just how I felt again I look back on this photo as like a really confident milestone for me where I just felt comfortable and confident in my Myself and how I look it just made me feel like that that's how I should be feeling as much as 100% of the time as possible that's something that I really want to work on for next year to just be as happy as I can possibly be every single day just feeling like I did in these photos every single day so at the end of March was when they did the lockdown I'm pretty sure this virus came and hit because I was off work I decided to put my efforts into other things this photo is amazing I put this together because there was a lot of stuff that I did in terms of making more video content I was doing more of my fitness and lifestyle stuff and I was putting all of these things up on my social media on Instagram and I was getting all these messages from people I summed up pretty much all the stuff that they'd put about me in this photo and it was really nice because I was getting comments like inspiring I was beautiful I was motivating people the strongest girl kindest girl out there heart of gold it was really nice to have comments like that and to know that what you're doing for yourself other people were seeing and they're believing in you as well they're thinking wow like this is amazing Sophie like you are doing so so well you should be so proud of yourself and yeah that was just an amazing milestone for me to know that I was inspiring other people and that they thought these things about me just really contributed to me to keep on going and keep doing this kind of stuff this was the first makeup look that I did for a long time like as you've seen from my previous videos if you've seen I used to do makeup videos quite often just as like a hobby I wasn't a pro makeup artist or anything like that. Little Mix had just released their single breakup song. There was this thing going around of people doing 80s stuff, putting themselves into this 80s makeover kind of thing. Thought I'd give it a shot and this is what came out of it. I love any kind of makeup look I can do. If it's a fancy dress thing, it's even better because I feel like I can then put my all and efforts and creativity into something that I really enjoy doing. So yeah, this just enhanced my makeup skills more and just made me feel amazing about what I do and what I can do. So we move on to May. So May we were still in lockdown. I think this was the last month of a whole national lockdown before jobs could start going back to work and that. And this was the street party that we did. A lot of people were going out into their streets and having tea parties and all coming together kind of thing. And I remember the night before I was so nervous about going outside my front garden and putting all this stuff together and being out in front of my neighbours because I don't really speak to my neighbours like they're people that are really really nice people but because of my social anxiety I tend to get a little bit scared sometimes I was afraid of just sitting out there and being there with people but then at the same time it was to commemorate veterans day it was to commemorate people that did so much for us years and years ago and my grandpa was part of the tank regiment in World War II and we had his photo up there I drew these flags to go on the bottom we made scones we did our own little tea party thing and I just remember thinking to myself and I remember saying it to a friend the night before like I'm so anxious I don't think I can do this like this is a really big thing for me to do in the end I just thought this is for something really special so just go out and do it even if it's just for half an hour an hour and it just felt really nice it just felt like there was community there and you could see different people were out on their front lawns just doing exactly the same thing and yeah that was just a really important milestone for me because it was something that I was really anxious of that I wasn't sure that I could do and I ended up doing it and 
I'm sure if my grandpa saw me doing that, he'd be so, so proud. So that really finished May off on a really good note. Very grateful. I'm very appreciative and proud of myself that I was able to do that. So we come to June. So this is really cool because this was, in fact, the photo I took when I finished and submitted my last assignment for my degree. It was a bit bittersweet because, in a sense, it was a relief that I'd done my last assignment, that like, that was it, I didn't have to do any more, but at the same time, that was it. It was done. Like, I didn't need to do any more after this. I could relax, which I haven't been able to do for the past three years, because obviously I was doing all these assignments and getting them up together, and I just felt really pleased and really proud of myself that I was able to conquer all those milestones that I'd gone through earlier on the year to come out to this point where I could say that I've done it. I finished my BA degree and then on the last day we all had a virtual meeting online and they had little rewards for us. They couldn't have given me a better reward for this. Like, I absolutely love this award. I know it's just something silly that they came up with but you know for me it was really special for me. They've put the certificate is awarded to Sophie Hurricane for excellence in supporting mental health and for being an outstanding technical assistant <laughs> it's been a privilege the mental health side of things that's something that i feel very passionate about which is why i do my videos and why my channel is the way it is and wanting to help people with it as much as i possibly can to have that being recognized as something that is an achievement and is amazing was really really cool and then we move on to when i found out the result of my BA degree which was a 2-1. I'm so happy and I'm so proud of myself that I managed to get a 2-1 in my BA degree. Years ago when I was 18 when people were starting to go to university and were figuring out what they wanted to do, university was just not the pathway for me. I did not feel like that I would ever be able to get a BA degree. I went to do paediatric nursing and that didn't work out. Before that I went to the RAF to try and get into nursing there and that didn't work out and then it got to this point where I was doing something where I was working with children and I wanted to further enhance myself. Foundation degree came up which is two years and then there was the option to do the top up which would get you the full BA and I thought do you know what just go for it. There I was that day like I was so happy I was so pleased that I managed to do that for myself and I got a 2-1 overall but in my dissertation I got a first which was incredible. I never thought I'd be able to say that I, I got a first in my dissertation and that was a really important one because that incorporated mental health for children and it just gave me the insight of what I wanted to do for the rest of my life if I could. It's a very difficult pathway to get into but if I'm able to get into it then amazing and if not I can walk away with a BA degree and take it into my future career. August was a bit of a hit and miss month. Just more about my poll. So obviously when lockdown hit poll classes were gone for like three, was it like three or four months in the end. These pictures just looking back on them now. I just felt back into my safe space again where I just felt empowered. I felt like myself. I felt like this is what I've really missed and you know Poll is so incredible because it's not just about physical strength but also mental strength. You've got to build that belief in yourself that you can do certain moves, that you can do these things and sometimes it's really hard because you can try certain moves and you might not get them straight away. It can take a long time to get some moves. Some people get them straight away while others don't and vice versa. You just find moves that fit you and that you can just do. It's something that you can work towards and it's really important that you do instill that self-belief in yourself. And also when you've got people around you, which I do in my poll classes, like I'm so grateful for the women that I do poll with because they're incredible women that just want you to win. They support you, they root for you, they just want you to do what you possibly can. This one in particular was amazing because I could see physical strength, but I also felt the strength as well inside me that I could do this. Plus my muscles look quite good in it. So we got a bit that in, don't we? Also in that month, I felt really low. I think the beginning of the year caught up with me. That's the thing with healing is that it's, it's very messy sometimes. Sometimes you feel like you've become a milestone and then suddenly something comes your way and you think, actually, no, I haven't. I've still got a lot of deep rooted issues with it. And that's absolutely fine. You've got to count your lows as much as your highs. And looking back on this picture now, it just makes me think, Sophie, you look so down, but you've got so much for yourself that you just don't even realise. It was just something else for me to just really think about and think, well, what can I do to get myself back on that pedestal kind of thing? And this one is 
peaceful, very peaceful. This is actually my friend's little baby. She gave birth to her about a month before that photo was taken. And this was the first event that we could go to since the pandemic hit. I had a little cuddle with her. This little girlie is so beautiful. I see photos of her now and I just think, oh, you're just so scrumptious. I'm nicknamed Auntie Sophie, which is really, really good. Really blessed to have that title. And she's just gorgeous. She's just the most incredible little beautiful thing. It was just nice to be a part of that, to be a part of somebody else's happiness. I rounded off August as yes and no, but also a positive. And this was also taken in August, so this is me taking a walk with, again, two more of my best friends that I absolutely love to death. We all went for a walk together in the woods, and again, that was when I was having my downtime, and I felt really no. But these two, as always, just perked me right back up. To have that warmth in people, and to know that you are loved, when you really look at it, you are loved. People do care about you, people do want to be there for you as much as possible, so that kind of gave me the milestone to just keep going and finish off the year on a positive note as much as you possibly can. So we hit September, so September I got more into my pole stuff, I was doing more pole poses and things that made me feel empowering as a woman, made me feel sexy, made me feel great in myself, which every woman, every person, every man, like every single human being should deserve to feel that way and I just felt really nice in that picture, I think that's a really really nice picture. And this is when we socially distanced in the garden because we went back to socially distancing outside only. We all had a barbecue and this is me again with with some of the most beautiful human beings on this earth. They are incredible. We had a really nice night and it was just nice to all get together. So now we head to October. This is a really nice photo and I love it. But again, another pole pose. I felt like I was in flash dance doing this, but again, just another empowering picture, just another photo where I just felt amazing. I just felt incredible. I also got my new car this year, which I did not expect to get. The time felt right, the time came. What do you know what? Just do it, Sophie. I actually went to get that on my actual birthday, which was an even better present for myself. The fact that I've got that now, like she's an absolute beauty. She drives really well. She's undoubtedly the best car I've ever had and I'm so thankful and appreciative that I was able to get that for myself. Just looking on that just makes me feel really happy. <laughs> and again this was my birthday as well so took this photo just before I went to my brothers and his girlfriends. We just had a nice little family get together in, had some Chinese, watched some TV programs and even though we didn't really do a lot it was really nice because it was just nice to be with people that I truly loved and it was nice to just being and just being in that present moment. I felt really happy, really content, a really nice birthday. Day. really really nice and this was an even better accomplishment this pose right here is called a statue statue for me has been one of my nemesises for a very long time i've just never been able to get it and then one time i managed to get myself in that position of course with help from my pole instructor <laughs> to just keep me still just for this picture and there we go I got into it, I felt amazing, and it's really nice. The whole photo itself is just lovely. Like, it just shows strength to me, it shows passion, it shows motivation and self-belief that I can actually do this. That was an amazing milestone for me, I'm so glad I did it, and the fact that we've captured it just means that I can do it, so there's no excuses next time. <laughs> At the end of October we did a Halloween stuff, so all through October we put our own routines together, made them Halloween themed, so this was the first one that I did, and we did it to Total Eclipse of the Heart. The next one was to Gangster by Kalani, and it's from the film Suicide Squad, so I did my makeup up in terms of like Harley Quinn, Jester, Clown kind of look and then we move on to probably my favourite look that I did out of all three, it was like a zombie skeleton glam kind of look where I just actually stuck stick on gems just on my forehead and I did my makeup and I managed to do that within an hour which was pretty good. It's just a really nice picture and gives me that good feeling inside every time I look at it. So this was the only real milestone in November but this was actually the end of a chapter with my previous job I handed my notice in because I got offered another job which was really cool and this was the one of the presents they gave me as a leaving present which was really nice. Again it was bittersweet because I'd worked with these people for two and a half years, nearly three years. They were a lovely bunch of women. They were people that taught me a lot. They really made me feel amazing because when I came there, first of all, like I just came from a really bad place. Working there was just like a breath of fresh air and just having that was really important for me. But then in a sense, I knew 
kind of this year that it was time for me to go. It was time for me to start a new journey and start something completely brand new into something that could excel me into something else in future. So I'm forever grateful for the experiences and all that they taught me that it was definitely the right time for me to go and to try something new, try something different and enhance myself and be the best possible version of myself so I can possibly be. So now we're into present day. It is the end of December. It is the 28th of December today. So we're nearly at the end of 2000. 20. I don't really have any photos specifically for this month, I just kind of wanted to round it off as a one-off reflection. I've had a lovely Christmas, it's been amazing, we've had, had things going on this month as well which it's just, it is what it is, you just can't help how things go sometimes and this month has really made me question what I want to do for 2021, it's really made me think about what it is that makes me feel happy, what makes me feel content and do things that I want to do, like start setting up my future for myself. I feel like all these things that I've gone through, all these setbacks and that, I don't want them to set me back anymore. I want to just continue and to start building my life. I appreciate my friends and family so much. I appreciate all the stuff that is good in my life at the moment. Even though some people are worse off and whatnot, it doesn't mean that you can't acknowledge what you're going through either. It doesn't mean that you then have to completely disregard your problems and focus on other people's problems. It just means that you need to take a step back and appreciate what you do have. At times it might not seem like it, but it's very true that you do have good things going on. There's things that I would rather do now. There's things that I know that I definitely don't want to do. I've still got a whole life ahead of me and there's no point sitting down and wasting time on it anymore. It's time to go for it. It's time to really believe that I can achieve all these things that I want to do for myself, but it's going to take extra dedication, extra time, extra work, extra patience, and it is achievable. It is something that I know that I can do for myself. I really want to focus on obtaining all the stuff that I know that I want and I know that I can have, and I know that the universe knows I want to have for myself, but I've got to give it time, but I've also got to put in the work for it. I put in a lot of work this year and look where that's got me. So I just need to keep doing that for myself and be in a better position for myself. It's been really good to look back on all the achievements and things that I have got for myself this year. I'm really proud of and I couldn't have done it without the people around me at the time that believed in me and that have always stuck by me and really believe in me now and will continue to believe in me now. More so than what I believe in myself sometimes but again that's just a work in progress. I just want to end 2020 on something that has been a very trying year but has had positive outcomes and all these photos have proved that, all of these experiences have proved that. Really think about what you want for yourself next year and be excited about it, like have things in place that are going to excite you and you want to do things for because you know that it's going to amount to something really amazing for you. If you like this video please give this a massive thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe, do all the things that you know you need to do. Take care beautiful people, have an amazing new year's and I will see you very soon.